log into Auto Entry, you're presented with our four main folders a purchase folder for all your purchase invoices, bills, receipts, and credit notes, sales folder for all your sales invoices and credit notes, expense reports folder for submitting expenses to an expense report for approval and publishing through to QuickBooks, bank statement folder for all your bank and credit card statement extraction too. In order to upload, simply click on the blue upload button, selecting the saved file of scanned paper documents from your PC. You can also forward invoices via email, or of course use the auto entry phone app to upload expenses and invoices direct from your phone. Once processing is complete, simply click into the inbox, where you're shown a list of all the invoices that have completed, highlighting the invoice date, supplier name, and over the right hand side, currency, net fat and total. In order to publish these straight through to QuickBooks, using the three drop-down menus, simply select your supplier account, category account, and of course a VAT code, clicking on publish to the far left, and the invoices are published automatically straight through to QuickBooks. We can of course click on the view icon to the far left of an invoice, giving us a bit more granular detail on the left-hand side on what was extracted, and of course the invoice image to the right. We also have the ability of matching invoices to open purchase orders within QuickBooks, applying your tracking categories, locations and classes, and of course adding customers to invoices that they can be published through as billable expenses. Auto Entry will also, as standard, extract to a tax summary level where a tax summary is present on the invoice, the ability to mark invoices as paid, there is also a practice homepage for accountants and bookkeepers, auto publish for those regular recurring purchases such as utility bills or frequent suppliers. And of course, optional full line item extraction with the ability to remember previous nominal and fact codes or apply nominal accounts and tax codes via rules, much like your bank rules. There's user permission levels and of course, added account security of two-step authentication if required. And that's a quick introduction to auto entry. Thank you very much.